All right, so does the Facebook pixel get confused if you test different products in different niches, right? Another pretty common question. And here's my answer. I don't think it gets confused, right? And I've been testing this for four years, basically not, well, like two years, <laughs> right? So here's, here's what I think uh, happens. So when you launch a campaign and you are targeting, let's say dogs and your product is extremely good, it's going to react well within that dog audience. Okay. Now, if you also have a cat product that you want to advertise and you launch a campaign advertising the cat product, then many people will wonder, okay, but won't Facebook get confused because you ran a dog campaign and now you're running a cat campaign and you're using the same pixel, right? So maybe the fix pixel is going to get confused because it's going to show, you know, the dog It's going to use the dog data to optimize the cat campaign. In my opinion, that's just a myth, right? I don't think that really happens. If it does happen because of a super technical aspect that I'm not aware of, I haven't really experienced any downsides to it. And basically this is what happened. What happens when you run a dog, a campaign for a dog product, you're going to target specific dog interests. So your dog product is going to be showed to a pool of people that are within an interest, right? And then Facebook, the Facebook pixel will gather data on your, on your store and use that data to find the people within this pool of the interest that are more interested or more likely to convert on your store, right? So if the pool of people is a million people because uh, the interest is like, I love dogs, it's a million people, then Facebook within that pool, that interest, that audience will look for the people that are most likely to convert. How will it do it? By using the Facebook pixel. It will take a look at the, at the data on your store and use that data to look for people within this audience that you target that are more likely to convert to purchase or if you're targeting for add to carts to add to cart if you're targeting for if you're targeting i mean if you're looking to get traffic people that are most likely to click within this interest that you targeted right so facebook is a pixel i don't think it's gonna get confused i don't even think that's a real thing about a pixel getting confused because you are already filtering out your audience and facebook will work within that audience that you targeted now when you launch the campaign for the cat product, then you're going to tar target, I love my cat, um, you know, small cats and sweetie cats, whatever it is, you're going to target cat interests. You're not going to target dog lovers. So you're going to target this specific pool of people in the cat niche, and you're going to show them a cat product, right? Now, Facebook will use the data acquired, obtained on your store to optimize your campaign and look for people that are most likely to convert within that cat audience, right? So even if Facebook received dog data, right, from the other campaign, and, and it got the data that you will use to optimize your campaigns, in the cat product, in the cat campaign, you're working within a cat audience that you filtered out by using a specific interest. So even if you're running cats and dogs and horses and houses and all this stuff, you're going to be running different types of... <laughs> different types of, I don't know if you're seeing my dog, if you can see the camera, but she's like just sleeping over here. Um, Facebook will optimize within the audience that you target. That's how you will filter it out. So I wouldn't be too concerned about the topic. I don't know if other, other marketers will disagree with me. I, in my opinion, I just haven't never experienced that. Right. And if I had experienced that, I would definitely make, be recording a video about that. But I already spent a million dollars on Facebook more than that. And I, I, I didn't experience that. So that's one thing. Now, here's how to maybe, maybe what you want is to organize your different stores with different ad accounts. Maybe so, so regarding the topic, I do suggest that if you have three stores, then use different ad accounts, right? Just keep it separately. I like to divide my businesses, one ad account per business, but you can use one ad account per store, but you can st still share the pixel with the most data with all the other ad accounts. This way you are, maybe you have three stores, right? Each store has a different ad account, but the three stores are using the same pixel because you share the pixel with the other two ad accounts. So all the ad accounts are using the data of the big pixel, but you have the stores separated in different ad accounts, right? Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. It's just for organization purposes. Um, I don't really use as well, custom conversions. I just use the regular Facebook pixel 
I paste the pixel in my store with an app like Truckify. Pixel magic works as well. But um, yeah, I think that answers the question. Hopefully it's clear. It's not a very long video. I don't think the pixel gets confused. I think you are getting confused because there's way too much information out there. And I don't blame you, man. Like I got freaking confused when I started because I thought that the reason I was not seeing results when I first started was because my pixel was crazy and I just blamed the freaking pixel and I said, pixel, you're crazy. Like, you know what you're doing. In the end of the day, I just overcomplicated things and you don't need to overcomplicate things. You just need to find a good offer, find an audience that is going to engage with that offer and then run traffic, run different interests and optimize your sales process and then build a system to fulfill in a nutshell, right? So there are many different, um, there are many reasons why you could get confused, but I don't, I don't suggest you try to confuse yourself or try to, I don't suggest the, the, the thing I was going to say is I don't suggest you try to learn everything in the beginning because it's not necessary. You don't need to learn everything. You don't need to know all the details, right? And um, it's like when I was going to events, when I first started, I was going to all these marketing and Facebook ads event, e-commerce events. And I was like, I'm going to learn, finally learn the secret in this event, finally get my breakthrough with this information that I've been missing out on for years. This is where the magic happens, man. And yes, the theory was very useful, but I left the event and actually started losing more money. I was like, dude, I started implementing these strategies that people are using to make six or seven figures. And then I just leave the event and I started losing money. Like, what the hell? Now, I understood it was not the fault of the event, nor the speakers or the content. It was just that it's... It's not like there's a three-step process to see results, right? You got to test things out. You got to figure out what works. You will start drawing conclusions based on the data that you generate on Facebook and on your business as a whole. You'll start getting ideas, getting knowledge, and you will then like identify what works for you. What's the way to go? What's the path to take when you launch new campaigns, look for products, create sales files. That's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, just follow me here on... Uh, Whenever you're, wherever, wherever you're watching this, uh, many people on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. I will highly appreciate it if you, um, have a question. Just leave your comment below. Sometimes I have way too many comments. I know I don't get, uh, back to all of them, but I'm gonna take a look at them and do my best to go through all of them. That's it for this one. See you in the next one. Peace.